Today on Uncommonly Good MTG, we're playing essentially an elf tribal deck where the cherry on the top is Volja, Jaws of the Conclave. Uh, the synergy between these cards is totally off the charts. I, I can't even describe what you're about to see. That sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned to find out more. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I am your host, a person who just recently won an argument against his wife in your face, woman, Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film before live studio audience. Thank you so much. You can suck it. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub. Posted by Bio2 called Vogia. His version is called Vogia with an I. It's not how the cards here pronounce it. See, it's just V-O-J-A. Vogia. Voja, or it could be Voya, but I, I don't pronounce it like a European. I'm American, baby. Oh, wait, wait. No, I had that thick Australian accent. That's right. Uh, Voja, mate. There we go. So anyways, um, this is what we're playing today. Voja. Why are we playing Voja? Because I was getting bored. I was getting bored. So what I do when I get bored sometimes? Well, yeah. And then I went over to this other place, and I um, started looking at mythics within the most recent set. I saw Voja, and I thought, you know, Voja looks kick-ass. I said, we're going to go and see if we can find a deck that has a good Volja deck. And I found this one. I thought it looked interesting. It's like Elf Tribal. Elf Tribal. Which is great. Except for the fact that I wanted to play Volja, who's a wolf. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards in this deck. We're talking a little bit of how it's supposed to work. And then we're going to go out. We're going to crush some hopes and dreams. All right, let's start off with Volja. What does Volja do? So Volja is only five, which is, in all the scheme of things, not too expensive. You can get to five. That's not so bad. And Volja is a five-five with Vigilance, Trample, and Ward three. Ward three, which actually so much better than Ward two and Ward one. It's you have to spend three extra mana to do anything against poor Volja there. Um, and then it says that when it attacks. You put X popo counters on each creature you control. Each creature you control, where X is the number of elves you control. And then you draw a card for each wolf you control. Well, Volge is a wolf, so you can draw at least one card. How many other wolves do we have? Uh, none. None. None is the amount of other wolves we have. What? Well, I guess I'm not drawing that many cards. Well, how many elves do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of them, right? Times like a billion. So yeah, I got a lot of elves. What are we going to do with that? Popo counters. That's what we're going to be doing. Plus one, plus ones across the board. Whenever it attacks, that's what you know what else we're going to do? Roaming throne. What are we going to pick when we pick it? We're going to pick elf? Eh, maybe. But really, what do we want to pick? Wolf. Wolf is what you're going to pick. You're going to just gonna be freaking your opponent out. When you put out like a billion elves and you put out Roaming Throne for Wolf. They're going to be like, what is he talking about? All right. So then beyond that, we got, uh, let's see what Tolzmer does. Uh, cost five. Once again, pretty cheap. Lifelink, three, two. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you create Volja, Finstalker, a five, five, green and white with Trample. When a wolf you control attacks, if, okay, so this is another wolf potentially. If Tolzmer attacked this combat target creature and opponent controls, Blocks that wolf this combat if able. So you can make it so they have to block your wolves. Great. We can kill those things. Wow, look at the difference between that. That little wolf over there looks stupid. He looks all prissy like a poodle. Well, this one looks like the Incredible Hulk. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, there we go. Trample, lifelink, haste. Great, right? Yeah, Vanifair. At the beginning of your combat, you choose one. Cloak a card, so that means you put it down face down. So it becomes a 2-2 nothing, essentially. And then you can also put a popo counter on each color's creature that you're creating. 
So I think you need your dudes to be elves. I'm not really sure why this why this lady's in here, but there's only one, you know, and it's a it's a it's a elf. So sometimes you can definitely pump up roaming thrones. That'd be a good thing too, right? All right. So this dude comes out vigilance for two. And when he dies, you can look at your library, reveal a creature card from amongst the top five cards, and put it into your hand to help you find Volja. Glissa Sunseeker. We got two of them in there. Sunslayer. She's a Swiss Army knife of pure awesome. Uh, Nissa helps get you extra um, mana. And if you do it twice in a turn, you can reveal cards on top of your library to reveal an elf or elemental. And then you put it into your hand. Werewolf is a elf fox knigget. And it, ban it uh, you know, exiles non fox creatures. Uh, mana elf that can also make your lands into three threes. Uh, Gala Greeter gets you. Mana, get your treasures, right? Uh, two life and or, or, or I should say and, or no, or a popo counter on Gala Greeters. You can pump it up. And gets lost, helps you to tell things to get lost. But you get rid of creatures, enchantments, or planeswalkers. That's a wide variety of things to get rid of there. All right, other than that, we've got uh, some things you could pick elves for, or you could pick a wolf. Wolf is a good one, too, if your elves are doing just fine. Other than that, we've got uh, a nice collection of lands and the ability to disenchant, which is really strong right now. There's some really great uh, artifacts and enchantments out there, and you need to be get rid of those things. So between Bojiju and Get Lost, those things, hopefully you got a little bit of control. All right, so that's it. That's the deck. What are we going to do with it? We're going to be pumping out our elves, trying to find Volja, hopefully having a bunch of elves, getting Volja out and then attacking, at which point they all get plus X plus X equal to the number of creatures you control. That will be a ton. All right, so let's go do that. Before we do, though, let's do as we do every day. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black King Toxrel, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. Ah, we're playing against Drowkin. Drowkin. Because we really need that U in the middle there. Keep. Alright, let's get the trees to shut up. Elf. Alright, we can put out a hasty lifing trample in the next turn. That ought to be nice. Bolja is right here. For five. Pretty good. No, don't be taking Bolja. How are you? I'd go after the Fleet Foot Dancer. Weird. All in. I don't like this guy's black mana. I don't technically like his white either. Alright, he's just playing with that dork. Uh, let's go for... Wolf. Alright, let's keep our wolf alive for a second here. Uh, don't do anything. Just put out something dumb. Go on, you can do it. Just be stupid. I'm really looking forward to putting out Roaming Throne for the wolf and go into town here. I don't like what you're doing with that mana. Come on, stop trying to be tricksy. All right, I'm going to splash around on the water. Let's skip a stone. All right, all right, that's fine. Dude, I'm going to go crazy. It's only going to be plus two. I only got two elves out. Uh, 
Uh, let's go. If we got a, we'll just do elf again. That's fine. It's the roaming throne. Uh, you're gonna be a wolf, wolf baby. That's what you're gonna do. All right, double up. Come on in for the attack. Let's go. Let's go. That's four to everybody. All right, you want to block? You could do it. Will you pick the weirdest guy? Dead. All right, I got ability to map something here, huh? Let's see what the trampolier has to do for us there. All right, cool, whatever. What do we got? I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Got another land right there for six. Is this Glissa time? No, we're going to haste it up. We're going to fleet foot. That trample nine is looking pretty good. You're hoping that your life link is going to save you. Uh, elf again, that's fine. Here we go. Let's pump that guy up. Cool. All right, all in. There we go. I don't. I don't think you can make it, man. That is a lot of trample hastiness. There we are, right in the face. Boom, boom goes the room. Elf, elf victory. Ah, we're playing against flow. Keep. I'm not going to release my evil here. Tell him what we're doing. Tell this next turn. I'll do it right now. Elf. Alright, so we only got two mana. I can get some uh, mana out of that boy right there, though. All right, let's do wolf in this situation. We're all cool. Yep, we'll throw the other one out. All right, treasure token. And we're good. No attacks. All right, we've got four. We got five mana, so it means we get Vulge out next turn. Still, Vulge needs to... Um, doesn't have haste. What do we want? Do I need some mana? Uh, one of them. And let's pump. Uh, no dax. Alright, Volja's in place. Hopefully nothing happens to poor Volja. Volja's got ward, baby. What kind of ward does Volja have anyway? Ward three? Well, that's good. All right, anyways, there's another land. What do we got? One, two. Let's do it. Raise an upstart. That's fine. Auto pay. Uh, let's go for the plus. Loam speaker. And this take will take. Uh, life. We're good. Alright, all in. 
There we go. That's a nice little pump. Yeah, I'm sure he peed his pants a little bit right there. All right, everybody's space awesome. And he quits. Just like I said, pee pants. All right, we are going to be playing against Bruh. Come on, Bruh. We don't, that's a dumb name, Bruh. Ah, uh, two mana. Uh, all right, we'll keep it. We don't have anything. We don't need white for the get lost. I'll tell you that. Ooh -hoo. Here we are, Imperial, Imperial uh, Tie Fighter Pilot Memorial Park. You can see the three graves of a TIE fighter pilots that just decided to drive right to the side of this mountain right here, the side of this planet. Straight in. Didn't even put the brakes on. All right, I mean, what am I going after here? I'm waiting for Volja to come out, but I don't have Volja. I'm going to have to play the game as though I'm Volja free. Nice white mana would be nice. I mean, you're anything, right? Oh, okay, good. We do have to leave anything things get lost. How you doing, Chomper? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, there we go. Elf. Yeah, for the wolf that is refusing to show up. All right, down to 11. He's like, what is this whole wolf thing? What do you think, I'm playing werewolves or something? I would. All right, so with this dude out, He'd be pretty awesome. These guys would be pretty awesome. Let's just awesome them up. All right, go ahead and kill anyone on the Roaming Thrones you want. You want to kill that guy. And we win! Bruh, it was another victory. Ireland against Turkish Mamasita. Turkish Mamasita. All right. All right. Keep. Uh, all right. I like where all this is going. Oh, next turn we can bodyguard that guy. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Let's just go in for the attack. He can't do anything, but just let it happen. He's not going to block. These guys will go get me Bulja.
Let's put this out for wolf. I think he wants Undead Bully, Undead, or Butler, to be dead. Does he have, what does it do? So you can bring back, yeah, you can bring back the other dude if you wanted to. All right, great. Who are you going to kill, man? Go for the Brazen Upstart. Do it. Do it. Not him. I right, play without that card. I dare you. I right, do it. That's who all I'm getting back. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, plus one, sure. He's got two mana. You can put that guy out. Yeah, this deck is doing all right. It's just that we need Volja so badly right now. Roaming Throne would be great. Fleetfoot Dancers, lots of great stuff. We're just getting all the low end crap. Uh, I got four mana, Fleet Foot Dancer, that's the way to go. Let's pump him up. We're cool. Let's see. He can't kill that guy, so let's just do this. All right, gone. And we're taking what four damage potentially if I just let everything through. This guy's four anytime I want. Oh, not good, man. I need the Fleet Foot Dancer. I need him to hold that thing down. I need the Loam Speaker so I can have five mana. These mana sources. Now oh, there's plants. No blocks. All right. All right, so I could just get lost her and not worry about it. I can also do that up there, which would probably be the better course of action. So let's, uh, that an instant, yeah. Put out a Gala Greeter. And let's go in. Take out Liliana, because we have to. Can't wait till after the attack phase.
Uh, he wants to draw cards, is what he wants to do. What do you do? Begin combat. Cloak a card is to put it on the battlefield for its mana cost. Put it plus on colorless creature you control. I don't have colorless creatures. What are you talking about? I, mean, I could have put it out, I guess, for free. Oh, he's got another what he wants. I mean, Hold up, man. Come on. Where are you at? I've got little three of you in here. I don't have a fourth one. There's Volja. Next turn, right? All right, so he's got a bunch of stuff. Let's just send in nothing. Let's just play defense here. Next turn, we're going to be so awesome. We're going to be so incredible. Just got to keep Volja alive. We got a lot going on here. They'll just jump, probably. This is just going on too long already. I'm just getting really tired of it. You don't have any mana, that's what I'm not too worried about here. I'm going to create another guy out of the deal. All right, cool. Let's get rid of the first striker. Yeah, pump them up. There we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> can we kill him? I think we can. I think we got it, baby. Everything is ginormous and it can only block a few. That's it. And we win. And we win. Volja. Alright, we're playing against Megatran. Going up against Optimus Prime. Uh, keep. Alright, let's shut that mole up. 
All right, these guys are kind of expensive. You're expensive. Elf. Let's get ourselves out a treasure token. All in for one. All right, now we can go ahead and go ahead and do some fleet dancing. We can go. Oh, I don't like the black up there. I can say we could bulge it up, but if we can get another man out, I'll bulge it up. Nope, didn't get what I needed. All right, fleet dancer, I'll pay. Let's do another. Of course, here we have going against toxic, and we're not bothering to defend at all. I'm just planning on aggroing my way out of this thing, man. All right, come on, be done with it. Let it go. Ah, that's fine. All right, let's... Full jaw. And uh, we're going to pop. All right, we got massive amounts of damage we could deal. We just have to make it to the next turn. I'm guessing he doesn't have what it takes to get rid of Volja. You think you're going to block, huh? Uh, sure, green's fine. Here we go. And we win! In your face, make a tran. In your face. Holy smokes, what an incredible deck. Incredible. I just was saying, ah, I don't find anything good out here. Let's just go through the mythics. See if I can find something. Oh, here's that Volja guy I looked at before that I thought looked pretty good. Why does anybody play this thing? Found a deck. You know what? This deck was in freaking incredible. It was just incredible. I don't have any other words for it. It was fabulous. It was it was a dream come true. <clears throat> All right, so well, Volja, man. I mean, this is just such a great card. And the fact that it uh I mean, just the fact that it puts so many counters, provided that you're playing with elves. Plus one, plus one on each creature control, where X is the number of elves that you control. Man, if you're playing elf tribal with Volja, yeah, this just goes nuts. Insane. All right, so let's just see. Who was our MVP? Who was our most valuable player? I mean, it was Volja. I mean, it was Volja. I mean, that was the card... It made this deck go from okay to just incredible. I usually like to pick things that are at the top there. I mean, he was only five. That is so cheap to put out. I mean, he's a five-five with vigilance, trample, and ward three. That is probably worth five alone as it is. Not to mention his super abilities, which are just insane. So um, I just usually don't pick things at the top, but Volja, you, you were the MVP. You were the most valuable player in this card. You were what I was hoping to find throughout everything we had going on. The one game it took you forever is the game it took like 11 minutes to finish the game until we finally found Volja. Yeah, Volja, you were the card. You're not an elf, but you work with elves so well. So well. All right, so there you go, Volja. You're going to Disneyland. Well, was this deck competitive? All right, here's the deal. I played it uh, seven times, 100%. 100% win rate with this deck. Ah, I mean, I just, I can't believe that's going to be the way it's going to be always, but I played against a ton of different stuff and I beat everything's ass like crazy. Yeah, it was insane. I just can't stop saying that. So, um, yeah, yeah, it was a competitive deck. I, 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 it just, it just was. All right. Was this deck fun? Yep. It was totally fun. Um, I mean, I'm going to pull back a little bit by saying that like the elves themselves were a little on the boring side. You know, they, they came out like this guy helps look for Volja. 
This guy is just a mana elf. This guy's a mana elf. That guy's a mana elf. This guy pins the dudes down. This guy was space awesome. Fleetfoot Dancer. It was nice with your mana elves is you're able to get him out a little early. You roaming throne the elves. You know, it's, it's actually better to roaming throne your wolf. It's weird because you got like so many elves. Wolf is what you want to duplicate because when you pop this guy and you're like, okay, guess what? I've got like three other elves out. Suddenly it's like, okay, we get plus three to everybody. And then we get plus three again. So that makes them plus six. Plus six. And that's not hard to do at all. Yeah, I'd love to see Tolzmer work. It, I never got around to getting him out at any particular point. It would have been cool. I would have loved to have seen it, but it didn't happen. Um, yep, so there we go. Yeah, this is a fun deck to play, especially with the gigantic explosion at the end that is Volja. Good job. All right, was it interesting? Yeah, Elf Tribal, Volja. I'm playing stuff here we've never seen before, in my opinion. I mean... Brazen Upstart, I haven't seen this guy being played at all. Um, Tollsmere, Banfair, I haven't seen Fleetwood Dancer being played, I think, since uh, New Capenna came out. Just nobody plays it. It's a great card. Trample, Life Leak, Haste. But yeah, you have to have three colors for it. And, uh, you know, usually you got Naya going on. You got something else going on. This is Elf Tribal Naya. It was incredibly well worth it. The better thing was also, I wasn't getting white mana, so I thought I couldn't play Get Lost. But I forgot that um, Lanoir Loom Speaker is one of any color. And you get him out a ton. So it wasn't that hard to get your multiple colors. It was pretty decent altogether. All right, let's add this up. Was this deck competitive? Yes. The question is, was this deck fun? Totes my goats. Was it interesting? 100,000% it was interesting. So this is an A++ deck, which only counts as an A++ deck. And as federal law requires me to say, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.